If you are watching this video, you have probably been accepted into a class at Mid-Manhattan Adult Learning Center for the fall 2020 semester. Please watch this video for some instructions on how to navigate your class. Please note that these instructions are for students who are using a desktop computer, a laptop computer, or a tablet. Though instructions specific to cell phones begin at the seven minute mark, I would encourage students to view this video in its entirety as it contains information that is useful for students regardless of which device they are using. You've received an email that looks like this. This email will tell you your class schedule along with your teacher's name. Highlighted in yellow, you're going to see an email address for what's called your D79 account. Please note that your teacher is going to be communicating with you through your D79 account. So I'm going to explain to you how to set up that account. The first thing you need to do is go to google.com on your browser. When you get to Google, you may notice in the upper right hand corner a blue box with the words sign in. Please click on that box if you see it in the upper right hand side of your screen. You may already have a Gmail account. If you do, you may notice that in the upper right hand corner, instead of seeing a blue button with the words sign in, there will be a colored circle with a letter in the middle. If you see this in the upper right hand corner, please click on the colored circle. Once you click on the colored circle, a drop down menu should appear. One of the options on this drop down menu should be the option to add another account. Please click on this option. Whether you've clicked on the blue sign in button or on the colored circle in the upper right hand side of the screen, you should now see a log in screen. You will be asked to log in with your username. Your username is highlighted in yellow in the first email that was sent to you by Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center. It would probably be made up of your first name, a dot, your last name, at d-79.com. This is just like logging into any other Gmail address account. Next, the computer will ask you to enter your password. If this is your first time logging in to your D79 account, your default password will be Google123. Please make sure that the first G in Google is capitalized and that there are no spaces between any of the characters. Then click Next. On this screen, you will be asked to accept the terms and conditions of these services provided by Google. You must accept these terms if you are going to participate in a class. Please be rest assured that your privacy and your information is safe and will not be shared with a third party. Next, you will be prompted to create a brand new password, one that only you know. The staff and teachers of Mid-Manhattan Adult Learning Center will not have access to this password at all. So please be advised to use a password that you will remember easily and one that you will have accessible at all times. Now, you should be able to access your D79 email. Please remember that this email is not to be confused with your personal Gmail account. 
Anytime your teacher corresponds with you, they will be contacting you via your D79 email. So it is very important that when you log in, you make sure that you are logged in on your D79 account. You want to be on the lookout for an email that's titled class invitation. When you see this email, please click on it. When you open your class invitation, you should see your teacher's name and a blue button with the word join. Please click on the blue button that says join and you will be directed to your Google Classroom. In the next part of this video, I will explain to you how to navigate your Google Classroom. This is what your Google Classroom will look like. It's very important that you report to your Google Classroom on the appointed day and times that your classes meet. When you arrive to your Google Class, make sure that you click on the Meet link. This is where the teachers will meet with the students virtually. After your first day of class, you may find that the easiest way to access your Google Classroom is to go to google.com directly, then in the upper right hand corner, click on the nine dots known as the waffle. That will give you a drop down menu. When you see the drop down menu, you can scroll down and select the Google Classroom. That will give you a more direct link to your teacher's classroom. Don't forget that you must be logged into your D79 account any time that you are ready to go into a classroom. Without logging into the D79 account, you will not have access to your Google Classroom. This next section of the video is for those students who are accessing their D79 account and Google Classroom by their cell phone, be it an iPhone or a Samsung. The very first step you want to make is to find the Gmail icon on your smartphone. It's a standard icon that comes with most iPhones and Samsungs alike. You can click on that. If you do not have a Gmail account, this should be a fairly simple procedure for you. All you have to do is log in with the D79 username and password. If you already have a Gmail account that is linked to your cell phone, the process is a little bit more involved. Once you click on your Gmail icon, in the upper right hand corner you should see a colored circle like the one pointed out in this clip. Click on that colored circle. A drop down menu should appear that will give you the option to add another account. You can click on add another account and then log in with your D79 username and password. Any student who is participating in a class through a smartphone or a tablet is strongly encouraged to download the Google Classroom app. You can go to Google, enter Google Classroom in the search engine, and you should find the link to download or install the Google Classroom app onto your cell phone or onto your tablet you'll find that this will simplify the experience of participating in the class. We at Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center recognize that this is a challenging time and a challenging way to participate in classes. If you have any questions or concerns regarding any of the processes discussed in this video, feel free to email your case manager or your teacher. Their email addresses can be found on the initial email that was sent to you from Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center. We hope to provide you with a positive and pleasant learning experience in this most trying time.